everyone. This is Lisa from Echo Yoga. Welcome back. I hope you've all enjoyed the stretching class. And this is our spinner game. I know it's one of the most popular games that I play with my groups in my classes. And um, I've had to make a few changes because we normally play it on the floor and that doesn't quite work quite so well um, on this online setting. So I've made a change. So this time we've got a spinner board, still my original spinner, with four boxes numbered one, two, three and four. And I've labelled four of our cards with each number. And whatever number the spinner lands on, I then select that card with that number, I'll show you the pose and we will all do that pose. So, so for our first spin, number four. So our four, number four pose is elephant breath. So you can do this seated or you can do this standing. I'll show you the pose standing up. So this is elephant breath, which you can do sitting in the chair. Just open your legs a little bit, just widen those knees. Or you can do it standing up, and I'm gonna do it standing up. So we're gonna take a big breath in and lift our arms up. Bend our knees, and as we breathe out, we're gonna make an elephant trumpeting sound. <laughs> Come on back up. Breathe in nice and tall, and again, make an elephant trumpeting noise. <laughs> And once more, come on back up, bend those knees. And again, we're going to make an elephant trumpeting noise. <clears throat> bend those knees slowly, come back up. Whoa, well done everyone. Bring those hands back down. Fantastic. This is the second spin. Oh, I'll give it another one. Oh, we've done number four, but we've got a new number four card. So this time, number four is shark pose. We sometimes call it Superman, but this time we'll do it as the shark. So you can do this on your chair or on the floor. So if you want to join me on the floor, get yourselves ready lying flat on the floor. Okay everyone, we're going to do our second pose on the spinner game, which is our fish, our shark pose. So we're going to all lie on our tummy. Or if you're on the chair, you can pop your hands behind your back and lift your chest up, breathe in and lift your chest up. If you're on the floor with me, I want you to put your hands behind your back and interlink your fingers, so join your hands together, hold your hands. And we're going to breathe in and lift our chest and our legs up to be like a fish, or a shark in this case. So breathing in, lifting up, oh. You probably can't see my toes, they're in with the, the plant. Breathing in, lifting it up, oh. And then come back down. Well done everyone. And then push yourselves up gently back onto your bottom. Brilliant work. Okay, everyone, this is pose three. So this is our boat pose. Now, as I just said, if you are on the chair, bring your bottom towards the end of the, the edge of the chair and hold onto the seat and lean back and lift your legs up. It's what we're going to do sitting on our bottoms. So with our Bottoms on the floor, if you're doing it on the floor like me, I want you to bend your legs. Feet flat on the floor and put your hands behind your back. As we're going to lean back, breathe in, pull in our tummy muscles and lift those legs up. Well done, this is really working our tummy muscles. And if you've got really good balance and you want to give this a go, so if you can let go of your arms. Give it a go. Doesn't matter if you wobble or if you roll back or front, let's give it a go. Oh, well done. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Okay, everybody, this is go number four. Let's see. Oh, number four. 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 Number
number three again. I haven't fixed this, honestly. So number three is down dog. So that's getting our body into that triangle shape. But I'll show you some adaptations we can do if you're in the chair, okay? Let's give it a go. Okay then everyone, so pose four. We spin the down dog, that, that V shape, getting our body into a triangle. But if you're in the chair, we can do that uh, in a slightly different way, okay? You can either put your hands on your knees, because this is the most important bit about down dog, is getting the strength in your shoulders, and push. Okay, so you're pushing the shoulders up. Or if you are standing and you don't want to come down so low, you can use the back of a chair or windowsill. And I'll just show you with my window ledge here. So we're going to breathe forward and bend and use that window ledge to push against. So we're really still getting that push in the shoulders and the stretch in the legs. But if you want to come and do it from the floor, I know some of you do like this, really do like this pose. We put our hands and knees on the floor first of all, getting ourselves nice and steady, making sure our fingers are wide apart. And we're gonna tuck our toes under, breathe in, pulling our tummies, and push up, four, into that triangle. So really give it a go to get that bottom in the air. Well done, well done. If you want to bring your knees down, that's okay. Let's give it one more try. So breathe in, push up through those shoulders and push those legs up. Whoa. I can see that you're all really trying your best and that's great. That's all that we can do is do our best. And for those that have done this, fantastic. You're all doing fantastic. And bring those knees down. Well done, great stuff. Okay, so this is pose number five. This is our last pose and then we'll do some relaxation. So, pose number four. Ooh, it doesn't like number one and two today, does it? I'll have to get that sorted for next time. So, we're going to do rooftops. So this is another one where we're pushing and strengthening those shoulders, but, but doing it with a partner. So if there's somebody with you, get them to come and give you a hand, or we can do it against the wall if you're just at home by. So this is our pose number five from our spinner game. This is our rooftops. And what we're doing is working with our arms against somebody. So if you've got somebody at home, we're lifting our arms up and pushing our arms against each other nice and strong if there isn't anybody at home who's able to do it with you you can always do it against the wall i will use my my windows here to push against that nice and strong so we're building up the strength in our shoulders really stretching and strengthening and then come back and relax and give it another go push 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 or strengthening against each other. So we're just using each other's body weight to push against each other. Push, push, push. And then come back and relax. Well done, everyone. That's brilliant work. So give those arms a shake and spin the arms around your body. So we're releasing any tension. Lovely. Well done. And then let's move those hips a little bit. So let's do some hip circles. Oh, both ways. So we can get rid of any tension. Well done. And give the whole body a shake. And then give yourselves a big hug. We like to give ourselves hugs in yoga because it's really important that we look after ourselves. And it's time to get yourselves ready for some relaxation. 
So get your, your blankets, your eye pillows and whatever you have. Make yourselves a little bit comfortable and we'll go through a relax. So as you make yourselves comfortable for the relaxation, whether you're in a chair, on your sofa, or lying on the floor, gently close your eyes. And breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And it's time to forget about everything else that's going on. Let your mind be quiet and calm and just think about being where you are and lying down or sitting down and just being relaxed, calm and be it, just being there, not doing anything else. Notice how your body feels. You might notice that it's supported by the mat that you're lying on or the chair or the sofa against you. But your body's supported. You're all cosy, warm and safe. And while we're relaxing, we're going to imagine that today we're on a beach, a lovely, lovely, warm beach. And if you don't like the sand on the beach, you can imagine that you're sitting on the grass looking out to the beach and the sea. And if you do like the sand, that you're sitting or lying on the sand, enjoying the sun coming down. And wherever you are, on the grass or the sand, you can feel that sunshine coming down, making you feel toasty and warm. And you can also feel that sea breeze as it blows across from the sea, through the beach, past the grass. And sometimes you can smell the salt in that sea air as it blows, just gently. It's not making you cold, it's just blowing gently. And we can hear the waves as they come onto the beach, the tide as it moves in and out, and those waves as they come in, they break, they go all white and foamy, and they come, become smaller and smaller to a trickle and then go back out. And if you do, enjoy the beach and you like to go close to the sea, imagine that you're paddling at the edge of the sea and feel that cold water under your toes. Or if you're on the grass, feel that cold grass which might be a little damp under your toes. Feeling the, the, the spikiness of the grass. Or if you're on the beach, feeling the sandiness and the grittiness of the sand underneath those toes. But taking time to be silent, to be quiet and enjoy being at the beach. You can hear the birds, hear the seagulls flying in the sky. And there may be some other people on the beach, so you might hear some children playing, some laughter, you can see children building sandcastles, or you may want to build some sandcastles and making rivers to the sea. Whatever you're doing, you're enjoying and you're relaxing. Just being at the beach and enjoying that time. And if you're on the the grass or the beach or on the sand, you may want to make some grass or sand angels. So as you lie there, moving your arms and legs, 
gently from side to side and making those shapes wherever you are. Having fun, having laughter with the people that you're with. And after spending some time on the beach, it's time to leave and it's time to start to wake up. So take a big breath in and wriggle your fingers and your toes. Time to start to wake up. Take that big breath in, stretch the body. If you want to, big stretch as you see to straighten your arm and bring those hands back down. And slowly, slowly open your eyes. And if you want to put your palms or your hands over your eyes, as you open them up slowly so that you don't get too much light in all at once, you can do that. And then come back into being awake. Well done, everyone. Lovely to see you today. I hope you enjoyed the spinner game and I hope you come back and join me in another game soon. So thank you. Thank you. Namaste.